Hey, hey, welcome back to another uh, Co 1v1. So in this one, I'm going to choose um, the Luzfafa Doctrine, yeah? And uh, I'm going to start off with the uh, Falsham Pioneers. Now, Falsham Pioneers received a little bit of a nerf. Um, the nerf was that they're more expensive by 20 manpower, which is not a lot, and they outperform most American mainline infantry. My opponent is going to be the top 37 USF player 1v1's Dexon. So... I didn't even know about this guy. I was like, oh, okay. The only reason why I checked his rank is because at the end of the match, he gets very fucking salty and accuses me of watching his stream. Okay, so, Dexon, if you ever watch this, buddy, I don't even know what you stream on, but I don't give a fuck about you, my guy. So the fact that you got salty after I beat that bitch ass makes me feel so much sweeter. And I don't, I don't mean to be toxic, but, buddy, if you're going to sit there and accuse me of watching your stream... At Hans Bovi, I don't even know who the fuck you are, my guy. But we'll get to that. So right off the back, I'm going to go ahead and cap the munis. The reason why I cap munis first instead of fuel is I'm going to get a crad shoots in right off the back. The reason why you want to get crad shoots in with this build, capping speed until you can get the manpower uh, with the Falsham Pioneers. Excuse me. So engineers are going to focus the manpower point. Again, I got the fuel with the crash shoots in. Crash shoots in is going to come over here. It's always important to grab the manpowers with this build early game because you're going to need it. You're going to be suffering. Now, with any lapse of manpower, I highly encourage you to go ahead and spin because even though I, um, it looks like I'm floating, right? I've already built the base so I can get the grenadier so I can get the merge ability going. Go ahead and make sure you have sandbags down. This is very crucial to the build. You need sandbags and cover for your Falsham Pioneers and, um, uh, excuse me, engineers. Crad's gonna cap in the back. Use the crad sheets and to cap awkward points. I'm gonna go ahead and call in a reinforcing squad. Do not call in a squad in the middle of nowhere. The reason why is because if the enemy sees it, they're gonna wait for you to touch the ground and most likely satchel you or bleed you as soon as you cut those uh, reserve, reserve shoots, yeah. So here we go. I have my unterpowered reinforcements coming up to the front line. And we're going to go ahead and link up and have double the manpower and bleed. So I see these Pathfinders over here. I'm going to back off. No reason to fight them. I can go ahead and cap the Munis over here. And he gives me a clue of where he's at. My opponent is going for the uh, Pathfinder build. And, you know, no complaints on him. I don't have any problem with you going this build. But uh, don't get upset if you lose the game, buddy. So I hear his mortar. That's the reason why I move. Boom. Go ahead and dodge those mortar shots. No, you do not have to take mortars. I don't know why people sit there and take it, but go ahead and dodge, man. Look, ring around the fucking rosy. Yeah, Han, shoot him in the fucking face. And I'm going to go ahead and chase him and bleed him. At the same time, his mortar's repositioning. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm going to cap this fuel. I'm going to put him on a fuel bleed because I think he's going to make a quad 50. He doesn't, thank God, because that would have hurt me a lot. But because I constantly think he's going to make a quad uh, in the back of my mind, I'm going to immediately go ahead and tech up to Luftwaffe Company. So there's the mortar again, repositioning. Qua uh, this is capping. I'm going to go ahead and move that because I'm trying to dodge the shot. Still take a hit, but I'm going to focus this point. The reason why you guys want to focus this point right here is it's going to cut off all this. Uh, manpower, fuel, munis. So it's going to hurt him in the long run, and he can't do anything about that instead of, uh, instead of just sitting there and watch. He's going to call in an emergency airborne reinforcement somewhere nearby. It doesn't matter. I control the map. I control the manpower. Get the fuck off my point. And there it is. That's the reason why you don't want to call it in front of me. You're taunting me. You're telling me, hey, I'm right here. So these Grins are going to go ahead and pressure the Pathfinders. I realize that it's a 50-50, but I'm going to hop into the house. I'm going to have four windows to his Pathfinders, one with the high ground. Looking good, feeling good. Go ahead with this build and quickly get a... Um, MG34. It increases the five. I'm sorry, MG15. Increases that five power, and it just makes these squads more lethal. Make sure you're dodging nades constantly. So he's wasted the nade. I'm dodging mortars over here. He thinks he has me. I'm going to use the crash shoots and reposition. Engineers are going to go ahead and harass. They're not going to win. Just keep harassing him. And be on the lookout for satchels. These guys can throw nades and satchels, just like these guys. They can throw satchels as well. The satchels have very short cooldown times, and it puts you in immense danger. You know, you're in squad wiping territory. Again, I'm not going to win the fight, but I'm buying time and preventing the cap. Well, this guy's going to go over here and get this manpower point. And the manpower point will connect, and I'll be fine. So, in the back of my mind, I'm floating 374 manpower. I realize um, I'm debating whether I want to go Jaegers or hold off and go Falsham Pioneer. I'll always get the Falsham Pioneer out. I'm um, sorry, Falsham Jaeger. Pardon me. Falsham Jaeger squads are fucking lethal. They will shoot you in the face with the glorious FG-42 at whatever rounds per minute. And they're going to make you look like a dunk off, yeah? 
And you don't want that. Nobody wants a little Dunkoff in their life. Oh, Gunther, where is my overpowered spots? Dropping in shortly, yeah? But, so I'm gonna hold off for right now. I'm gonna focus Jaegers. Jaegers are great at close range. I know it's crazy, but put those Jaegers at close range and you'll see immense bleed damage. Here's the Pathfinders. And this is why the Pathfinder build falls apart that late to uh, mid to late game. They, they just cannot DPS. They're great for capping. They're not great for frontline infantry. This will always fall apart. And there's nothing you can really do. Another thing that bothered me about the Dexim guy, I guess he wasn't taking me serious. He probably pre-checked my rank. You know, you little bitch. Because <laughs> players will do that. And he wasn't taking me serious. And I'm going to come out on top. But but we'll get to the salty part. The reason why I'm being hard on this guy is he acts like a fucking sore loser. As much as I expected him. He's going to go ahead and call in an emergency um, paradro uh, drop squad. He wants to prevent me from capping the fuel. I say, fuck that. I don't have to sit here and take it. Reposition the crab, man. It's not an aggressive unit. But... In the late game, you can aggressive cap. You can get in the enemy face, face and taunt them. I'm not going to win this fight. I'm going to back off. And again, Jaegers are out in the field. Get these Jaegers, man. They are multi-purpose uh, units. They can go Shrek and still kick ass with infantry. Or they can go Reconnaissance Package and still kick double the ass for, you know, uh, less surprise, yeah. You know, 60 munis compared to 90. And th these guys are great. They're going to hurt uh, covered units. So here's these Pathfinders. They're not going to do great. Yeah, he keeps trying to nade me, but I've dodged every single one. And again, just still kicking ass and taking names. So these Jaegers are going to go ahead and push. Be aggressive with them. Jaegers be airborne at close range until the LMGs pop. Never forget that. So hug his fucking face. Hump him on the point, yeah. He cannot touch you, but I can touch him on the glorious axis. And I'm going to dodge the nade. Uh, I'm sorry, retreat from the nade. I didn't want to take any extra damage. And when you hit the retreat button, you take a reduced damage is what I've gotten from this game. So again, be, be a little bit, of, um, not aggressive, you know, uh, by attacking units, but you can be aggressive with the capping speed. His Pathfinders fell back. I'm gonna go ahead and get that manpower back because I need the manpower for this build. Be careful. He could have satcheled me at any time. He doesn't, so I'm gonna get in his face again. Be aggressive with the Jaegers and, you know, stay at uh, medium to long range with these guys. But because I have so much manpower, I can afford to get there. Dodging the Mortar. He realizes I'm moving to satchel him, so he's gonna fall back. Good on this guy's part because this... Uh, sometimes the satchel will stick to mortar units. I did record a video uh, calling it auto-locking satchels, but it'll show you uh, how fucked up it can be. So now what he's doing is what I did to him. Good on him, and it can be frustrating, but at the same time, I've got units that are about to head out, and we're going to stop that bullshit. I'm going to recap the you know fuel over here. He, his units have all fell back. I feel comfortable, and he's not paying attention. Be aggressive with the crad shoots and when it comes to capping, but you know don't don't be stupid with it. When you know he's falling back. If you know he's set up and defensive, just don't fucking risk it. It's not worth it. This is a gold unit if you uh, make it work for you. So over here, get in his face. Don't stay long range. They can launch rifle nades at you. He's again trying to back cap my munis. He's, my whole map's in disarray right now. We've cut each other off completely. But I'm not stressed because my units are only going to keep getting better over time. His units will get weaker until they're not worth the fucking cost of admission. And here we are again, even though he's trying to stop me. I capped the point for the glorious axis und uh, Dak. And that was a little bit of gush and mush, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and fall back, not worth the fight, but the crowd's still going to cap. Because, again, look, um, the engagements are like a puzzle. It tells you where he's at, it tells you where he's going to go. Go ahead and get those caps back, man. Now, he's stressing about the uh, VP bleed, and I understand why, so he's going to go ahead and cap it back. Again, back this unit up. Don't give the rear armor, because it's a death sentence, but the frontal armor can take the hits. And it has a little armor chart right here. So, uh, four to the front, and three to the rear and side. Over here, I'm going to lose the fight. You know, the Pathfinders are healthier than me. And if you think that's bullshit, I, I, honestly, it's not. I was just uh, kind of fucking around with them. But I'm going to bleed him. And... The other reason why this commander is great is when I get to right here, my infantry units become dirt fucking cheap, and I'm going to beat him in the uh, long game. So, a great thing about the crowd, at veteran C1, it becomes invisible. Great ability, and he can't touch me. And as soon as he sees me, I'm going to go ahead and mobilize it out. Not worth uh, taking gunfire over. But you see what I'm doing? I'm constantly harassing him. I'm fucking with him. I'm going to bring the crowd over here and heal. And these guys are going to back off. Can't win the fight. No reason to sit there and take it. Just, you know, stay calm, relax, stay focused. Don't give in to despair, because this map is all in disarray, right? Fucking keep pushing, because I'm not even good at the game, man. And the fact that I beat this top 37 motherfucker, whoo, that felt fucking great, my guy. 
So again, I'm gonna pop the G43s and look at that, look at that. A little bit of love tap. Go ahead and get them into cover. You're gonna win against medium cover versus the airborne. Don't stress. Keep dodging that mortar. Don't let the mortar get veteran C because it will fuck with you. Make this purchase worthless as long as you can. And that's exactly what I do. He goes up and pops another round and look at that. Dodge and dodge. Constantly dodge. Don't stop. Your enemy, uh, you can set your enemy off if you're dodging those shots because he's relying heavily on this mortar. He's constantly clicking the button to attack me. And I'm going to keep fucking getting in his face. Crash is going to be healed. I'm going to send it back out. Engineers are holding. I'm holding him here because I don't want him to cap me. And it's a body blocker. So even if I lose the engagement, I'm still holding the cap. Jaeger's going to be aggressive again. These guys come with smokes. These smokes will come and clutch later. And you'll see how much bullshit it is. He panics. He thought I was going to go, um... What's it called? Uh, um... Sorry, I, uh... It... it well, one of the uh, tanks. My bad. Lost the train of thought. We'll get back to it. But uh, he thought I was going to go uh, a light tank. And I don't. And that's why he made the AT gun. And that's why you don't want to pre-build the AT guns. Uh, because it can be a waste of you know manpower, right? That's about 250 manpower if I got that right. That's a waste down the drain for nothing. He's going to mortar me. But I get the cap. And look, I've cut off everything again. I'm going to go over here and pressure him at the same time. I'm going to leave these guys to cap. These guys are going to keep going forward. And keep the, keep your best units front keep your weaker units on the back of the cap and again look at this aggressive capping i'm still going to get in his face i'm still going to harass him i'm still going to be mean and he's going to complain to relic that i am a hacker and you know look at that um, i'm still gonna get, he should have blocked me i don't know why he didn't block me maybe he was worried about my close range dps but he's gonna try to pick me off from long range I'm going to get the decap and then I'm going to back out. And that's exactly what you want from these engagements. I'm not stressed because when I get to this point right here, um, these units are dirt cheap. It doesn't matter if he bleeds me anymore. We have ready to be so look at my map control. Getting it right back on track. Getting nice little speed caps going, holding the line. And uh, his pathfinders are becoming worthless, man. I mean, over time, look, they're just getting weaker and weaker. And I keep dodging the nades. Go ahead and get mines down. I fuck up right here, his Pathfinder saw me, he barrages me. I survived though, too fucking easy. Engineers are being a little bit over aggressive right now. I was trying to catch him off guard with the fuel, and I'm being stagnant, because I'm, I'm all over the place right now. I'm gonna back him off, no stress, and this guy's gonna go ahead and recon for me. You know, making sure nobody's coming over here. Constantly reposition. You know, this is a harasser unit, just be smart with it, know where he's set up at. He's gonna recon me. I'm going to put these guys in cover. He's going to try to launch a rifle nade, so that's why I'm constantly rotating. These guys, again, I don't need to win the engagements. I just need to win the cap speed. So while he's fucking distracted over here, I'm going to go ahead and fuck around and cap his munis. See how he likes it, right? Because he needs munis for this build. So the more munis I cut off, the more danger he's in. So Jaegers, right? They're getting a veteran C. I didn't have to pay for the tech up. You know, I should have, but at the same time, I didn't need it. I teched into Martyr, because I, I thought for sure by now he would make a quad 50 or some kind of Sherman. But now nah, he goes full infantry build. He does not go a single tank this entire match, which kind of shocked me. And he went um, Airborne Company. I guess he thought I was going to MG spam at him. And I, I just don't play into his expectations, and that's what really threw him off. It makes him mad. I, you know, buddy, if you were streaming, I hope all your fucking little streamer fans saw you fail, because you acted like a little bitch, boy. i tell you who what now. Now, again, I'm not playing to my own ego. I know that he could probably beat me in another match. But at the same time, if you're going to be a high-level player, don't act like a bitch. And that's what it kills me with some of these high-ranking players. They get such a massive uh, ego trip, right? And they kind of forget that we're all human beings and just players trying to have fun. So when you, you know, hit them in the ego stroke... Ah, uh, they don't like it. You know, they, they, they go, Nine, you can't not beat me. I'm the greatest in the world. I think he's from Poland or some shit like that. I can't tell what nationality is because I don't give a fuck. So, you know, be aggressive. Keep these guys... I know I said keep them at medium range, but because he's at four models, I'm going to get right up in his face. I'm going to bleed him where it hurts. I'm constantly on the lookout for satchels. Look at these false makers kicking ass, holding him in base. I am cock-blocking him in base. He can't get out because these units are worthless now. And I'm going to rotate. I'm going to link up with my main force and we're going to keep him at bay. He's trying to hit me with the, um, keep, um, assume, sorry, fuse HE to lay barrage. But I'm going to link up with the main force. I'll eventually merge. And I kind of forget about these guys. I'm so focused on keeping him back right now that I forget about some of my units. And that's egg on my face. 
because I'm doing so much in the background. While I'm talking, I'm constantly capping. And again, take a look at that map. Look how much blue versus red. I've map controlled him. He's too horn dog on these engagements when he should be uh, focusing on the cap. So this is where the merge comes in play, right? So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and merge these units. I've gotten the fourth point. Infantry reserves. They're dirt cheap. I'll get these false Jaegers back in a second. Boom, there's the merge. So these aggressive frontline units can stay out on the field longer and keep fighting, buying you precious time. And just keep dodging that mortar, man. So, but look at, look at that. That's how you want to play it. You want to keep them in base. You want to use this green cover right here because that's what it is. It's green cover all day long. Keep dodging that mortar. Make that mortar worthless. Make him suffer for it. And I'm going to get the wipe, I believe. Boom! And there goes a worthless unit, but it's hurting him on the manpower. And he didn't go cheaper manpower. He went um, airborne doctrine. And it's, it's really fucking him up. So even if I don't win the fight, I've done what I wanted to do. I have blocked him on resources that are very much so necessary. Kitten grad still kicking ass, still getting that muni. And I'm going to muni stack. Eventually I'll get more mines down. They'll become a little bit worthless though because um, I've kept them back. Uh, and he doesn't go any infantry. Now I kind of fuck up. This is why Jaegers are clutched. They pop smoke. But honestly, I could have killed this MG from here because I was in green cover. But I'm still going to pop smoke, dodge the mortar. And that's why I think Jaegers are kind of broken. Because you can self-smoke. And in about three minutes, I'll get, I'll get a free smoke. And these um, 30 cals are worthless. I mean, the cone of fire is ridiculously small. And check that out again. Just kicking ass, taking names. 30 cal is going to suppress me. I mean, look at that cone of fire, man. That is piss poor. I have no idea why the 30 cal it acts like this. It's like they took the Co 250 cal, nerfed it, and they gave you the 30 cal, and they kept the cone of fire. And it's, it's ass. It's not fair. You know, I'm going to back off, though. I don't need to win the fight, I just need to keep the delay going. This guy's going to be a little aggressive dickhead, I'm going to spot with him. If you hold him still, he gets increased range. And I'm constantly trying to cock block those resources. He needs Muni, and right now, I just need to maintain the map control. Because as soon as he gets the map control, he can make a push on me. Right now, I'm not taking him serious um, enough. I thought, honestly, he was a low-level player. I had no idea who the fuck he was. So I was said, you know what, I feel good in this engagement, I'm going to go ahead and tech into tanks, and I'm not even going to pump out a tank right away, I'm going to upgrade the tank before I get them out into the field. There's my blob, I know, egg on my face, but this guy, he was blobbing, so I said, you know what, I can blob too, you little bitch boy. Hold these nuts on the way out, homie. Yeah, yeah, up until the left. So I said, you want to blob, I'll fucking blob, I'll show you the power of my units, and they are very powerful. So, boom! Check that fucking bleed damage out. Look at that. Worthless units. They are fucking worthless, and I can run them down on retreat, yeah. And he's running. Look at that boy run. I said, woo! He's a real fast one now, but you gotta be easy on him now. You can't scare him too hard. Don't want him to get too far out of this engagement. Yeah, yeah. He's still gonna go and cap, dodge some mortar. There's another 30 cal. He makes about 2 to 3 30 cals, I think. Uh, and he's starting to get wise. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke. I thought I could win this engagement. I make a mistake. But I'm gonna get these guys in the building. They're gonna harass from the upper level. And then I'm gonna rotate these Jaegers over here. But no stress. He will make a little bit of a comeback. But using my super powerful and heavy access units, I'll, I'll survive this engagement. There's no need to vary or anything like that. I'm gonna go and flank around with these guys. And this is why I thought I was going to win the engagement. The 30 cal just gets enough range, and that's where I fuck up. But if I had rotated these guys around the building, I would have gotten a free MG. But, you know, look at that blue. I'm going to fall back. I realize I can't win. I'm about to get suppressed. I don't want to waste the smoke. There's no point. I have the map control still. Everything's in my favor. Got to back the crat off. If you're wondering, well, why not cap over here? With all this uh, manpower and units in the area, I don't want to risk it for the biscuit. There's no need to lose this. This is the fucking dickhead unit that will make or break games right here. Because if you're constantly hitting those points, taking those resources, getting that map control, I'm gonna get the additional manpower and the munis for the late game. And this Stuka Loiter Squad comes in clutch because it attacks both infantry units and, and tanks. And it will pin them. So this is what I'm talking about where I can be aggressive. He has one unit over here, don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and cap. I said, look at my fucking Vitas, bitch. Look at them, they're fucking shiny and delicious. And I said, watch as I hold this point, you little dickhead. Oh, you can't do anything about that? Oh. And at the same time, I'm constantly nervous about a satchel. If he throws a satchel, it's going to fuck my day up. Back this unit off. 
I know it looks like I'm not winning right now. Eh, you know, if you catch these guys out in the open, you're gonna win. But, at the same time, I'm holding the fucking line, getting those uh, points up. And I'm gonna be even more of a dickhead, try to cap this fuel. MG comes over, can't fight it. But we're gonna hit a stalemate on my part. I'm gonna be a little bit confused on how to approach this. There's a lot of MGs. I'll make a mortar eventually. I didn't want to do it, but I, that's I will kick out a mortar and get it uh, rolling. And you know everything's looking good. I'm behind green cover. I can hold the line. I'm delaying uh, buying time. He's, he should have came into the cap and pressed me. I don't know why he's not doing it. And I, I just keep delaying him. So he puts the MG in the house. Smart move on him. He's covering the points. He's trying to MG spam and ham and get me out of the game. Because he knows my infantry are mobile and in his face. He's blob. I'm going to blob. So I'm going to keep the blob going. And yeah, fuck it. If you're going to blob your airborne units together, buddy, I will fucking choke you out. Again, use the crab to cap. You know, this is where it comes in clutch. Regain the territory. Here's my tank. I delayed for it. It's going to be a worthwhile purchase. And I'm going to go ahead and hug this building. I completely forget that AT guns can attack their buildings. But I was hoping that the sight blocker would protect me. And I'm going to get right on top of it. Because I'm thinking that I'm safe. And technically I am, because he has to reposition the gun and put it in danger. And I've got guys right here holding. But he's going to put... There it is. He's popping rounds right there through the building. He's trying to mortar me. Um, HE fuse delay can kill tanks with a mortar. There's the first shot. Eventually, my brain's gonna click on. I go, I need to get the fuck out of here. Hans, reverse at full speed. Yeah, yeah, mine commandant. Will reverse on their orders. And that's what I do. I'm gonna back out. But I've accomplished my goal. I've pushed the MG out of position. I've got multiple repair units on standby. We'll get this tank right back into the fight. The reason why I don't haul down uh, is because he can throw satchels. The satchels will pretty much almost kill the tank. So I'm gonna avoid the haul down options even though I've uh, advocated how broken it is and powerful it can make you. And look at that, airborne units, even though they're good, I'm gonna kick him uh, his ass at long fucking range. And these guys, uh, I believe, are slightly cheaper than these guys. But with the reduced manpower cost, I'm good to go. Planes are ready to go. The MG's over here, so he is trying to cock block me at all points. I'll eventually lose this because I'm being you know, a little bit uh, foolish with it later on but I, i'm accomplishing my goal regaining the map control keep the american player down because once he gets the momentum you're kind of fucked your units will become too expensive so now we're at a critical point um dexon if i got your fucking name right you fucking salty bitch is panicking you know he doesn't know what to do mg's back in the house uh so that's why i believe he's like triple mg spamming at this point and I realized, what the fuck am I going to do? I pump out the mortar. I said, if I can't uh, get you out of the house, I'm going to barrage you out of the house. I'll make my own mortar too, bitch. And it's going to be veteran C1, and it has more range. So we're going to keep the pressure going. I hit my mine. I don't know why that's a fucking feature, but, you know, there's my mine. I see the AT guns. They are out of position. I'm going to go ahead and press them. I've smoked the house. Time to charge. Time to kill these fucking guns. I kill the guns. He can't fight me. GG, well played. And that's exactly what I do. Boom, one gun down. Putting him in a pr uh, pressure position. Mortar's gonna keep cranking out. He's trying to hit me with HE or uh, whatever the fuck he wants to hit me with. I pop another smoke. And his gun's gonna go this way. I'll get the gun. I'm gonna kill the gun. But that's what you wanna do. And yeah, I know I'm blobbing, but again, he's blobbing. So you gotta blob the blob. Planes come in clutch. I said, fuck you, bitch. The gun is mine, you little cunt. And I should have satcheled the house. I had enough munis, but I wasn't really paying attention. I'm going to hit that gun, and there's the planes coming in clutch. Look how low these guys get. And I said, fuck your pack gun. This is my fucking points. This is my battle. You will suck my dick, you little bitch boy. And if you're wondering why I'm being toxic, like I've said again, he acted like a bitch. So get ready, buddy. I'm going to have lots of words to say. I fucking worked at a prison. I know how to talk fucking shit. And seven years in the fucking military will make you into one aggressive motherfucker. So hold these nuts on the way down, Daxon. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, you little bitch? <laughs> I'm having fun with it. Or somebody says, you're very toxic. I'm only toxic if you uh, want to be toxic. And at the same time, I'm having fun with this uh, cast. So don't take me too seriously. And I'm going to kill this AT gun. Fuck your manpower. Fuck your AT gun. And recruit that shit, bitch. I dare you. Now, I realize I need to save up for a broom bar. Broombar will fuck his AT guns, will fuck his infantry spam, and it will seal the deal with the GG well played. 
And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and back off. No stress. Get the blob ready to go. Jaegers are squad away. We are ready to push south to the base. Yeah, yeah. And this guy's going to go ahead and be an aggressive. I thought because, um, you know, uh, I turn invisible that I could get the cap off. Sometimes it works, but eventually I'll fuck up. Get the manpower back. Dodge the mortar. Fuck your mortar. Fuck your purchase. Eat my dick. And, you know, keep the dodge going. His units are in good cover. I won't win this engagement, but I've got to flex my nuts until this broom bar comes out. I've got to get on the point. I've got to buy time. And that's what I'm doing. And I say, fuck your uh, pathfinders. I'm going to go for the cap. Again, buying time. If I bleed, he's bleeding me out right now. I had a good point lead, but I cannot do this anymore. And there's the Jaegers. They're holding the line. They're doing the right thing. And this is where I fuck up. I really thought I could get the cap in time. I should have held it, but I panic and I back out. And it's going to fuck me over because I've lost my capping unit. At the same time, his AT gun's down. I'm going to be aggressive with this Panzer IV. I'm going to fuck it up. Mortar, he's HE uh, barraging me. You know, good on him. But I'm going to get out of there because, you know, fuck your HE. AT guns are cranking out. He's manpower cleft. He can't afford this army size because airborne's are about 360 manpower. So he's trying to stay in this game right now. I killed his AT gun. It is a big blow. Now he's he's finally has enough for an additional AT gun. He realizes what I'm doing. I said, I know your fucking um, left flank is undefended. I need to press it right now. I need to kill this MG. And he's going to panic and rotate. With the broom bar, though, we're going to seal the fucking deal. So focus the MG. Fuck the AT gun. Don't focus that yet. Kill the MG so I can move up the uh, supporting infantry on the point and we can get the fucking uh, job squared away. After the MG's dead, go ahead and focus those AT guns. I've got back up in the uh, moving in. I should have hauled down, but I said I wanted to be flexible because I know there it is. He's rotating his gun. And I, I honestly, I get a blessing uh, from this match. It was a huge blessing that these rounds were bouncing and not, look, bounce. Oh man, that was a blessing. Uh, you know, big man was watching out for me on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, bunker buster this AT gun. The reason why is I want to kill it as fast as possible. The bunker buster is pretty fucking deadly. And it's it's a, it's going to kill his morale. Also, look at the damage to the gun it does. It's great. So right now his unit's going to die. This is a big one for me. I believe I get it. Ah, no, it gets away. Sorry. But I'm going to refocus the AT gun. If I kill the gun as soon as he crews it, it doesn't bother my tank. I'm being very risky, but I have to close this game out because this guy is really trying to uh, get me out of the game. I get a blessed again. Bounce. If he would have killed that, it might have been GG. I'm going to go ahead and back off. He's called in his panic planes. I got to repair these units. Somehow, some fucking way, the guy that complains that I'm watching him sees my tank. I think it was from the um, planes. So I'm not going to accuse him of anything, but he's going to HE to uh, barrage this tank. It's going to kill it. You know, big win for him. At the same time, I'm going to hold the fucking cap. I'm going to cap his MG. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to use it against him. I'm going to stay aggressive. And then I'm going to destroy this with a satchel. I kill this AT gun. There's no way he can fight me. And then I'm going to cock block this other AT gun until I can get the uh, appropriate amount of, um, sorry, the cooldown in the munitions for 30 seconds, right? Here's this other MG. I'm going to flank around that shit. There's his mortar. Broombar's going to back off. I'm cock blocking this point. I said, if I can't take mid, guess what, homie? I'm going to hold these points until you bleed out. I'm going to call on the planes in a second. I would need to finish this game. His army is going to be better than mine if I'm not careful. Boom. Planes seal the deal. Stay in your fucking base, you fucking loser. Hold these nuts on the way out, homie. And me and Hans are going to flank around the MG. And I'm going to shoot him in the back. Now, for some reason, I wasn't getting good damage. You see, there's barely any damage, and I'm going to get closer. And there it is. Nice stream watching, buddy. Hey, hey, you are a true pro. Hey, bitch. I'm going to say it like this, bitch. I didn't even know you are streaming. Homie, I didn't even know who the fuck you are. But guess what, you salty little cunt? You do what I, I expect from most pro players. You act like a whiny bitch when you lose. I don't know if all... 100 of your fans are watching or 1,000 of your fans are watching, but man, they just watch uh, watch you fucking take my nuts on the way out, homie. Because I don't even know who the fuck you are, Dexon. I don't give a fuck. It would have been a GG well played. I would have said, hey man, great game. You fought well. You know, uh, shit, you had me on the back foot. Uh, you know, great work. But man, you're going to act like a child and fuck you. I'm going to act like a bigger cunt. 
But yeah, buddy. Wasn't watching your stream. I don't care about your stream. I was just having fun. Hey, but if you're going to be that salty when you lose, I don't know what to say, man. But uh, GG. Uh, you know, hold my fucking nuts on the way out, homie.